Okay, we started. Okay. Hey, hi guys. I'm Jitendra Vaswani and you are listening to Inside a Hustler's Brain podcast. And today I have a special guest with you who's going to talk a lot of things about SEO and rank and rank SEO stuff, like how to find these kind of niches. And he's pretty much experienced guy into SEO. So Herc Magnus, and he's the founder of Rank and Rent Club. And so today he's going to share a lot of things like you guys are excited to learn about Rank and Rent because this is very new for me also, like to be very honest, because I have never done this Rank and Rent thing in the past, but I have done the review of like her course and I've gone through the course and I've learned the process, how he's doing, how he's teaching his students to do this Rank and Rent. And it's pretty good. I really like this. Uh, I really like his course. So her over to you, please introduce yourself to my audience, man. Thank you so much for having me, first of all. Uh, yeah, I'm Herc okay. Magnus. And um, just to kind of give you a brief overview of who I am, okay. kind of where I came from, sure. I've been doing online, online marketing in one form or another for over 20 years now. I right. uh, started with just basic email list building, and then right. I got into uh, SEO. I did open my own SEO agency. I've done AdSense right. marketing. I've done affiliate marketing. I've done SEO awesome. agency marketing. I've done a lot of stuff, but I've also spent the last five and a half years now awesome. developing SEO software um, with my partner. So I've right. done pretty much everything in the, in the last 20 years. So you have a pretty much long experience, like 20 years into this SEO, right? Yeah, quite a bit of but, okay. uh, yeah. SEO. I've only really focused on for the past seven or so years. Right. Um, but still like a lot, a lot of experience and everything in all internet marketing related activities. Okay. So Huck, my first question is for you. Like, how is your experience working with freelancers or SU agencies while you are building your product? So do you want to share experience? In working with, say that again, sorry, with freelancers? Like, like how is your experience working with SU agencies, freelancers? in terms okay. of like hiring these people? Um, to be honest with you, I'm kind of a control freak. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I, up until actually, it's funny that you asked this question right now, but up until right. the last month, I've done everything on my own. I mean, yeah. I have a team that helps us develop software and stuff like that. But as far as the SEO process, um, I'm primarily doing everything by myself, but I really want to grow. And I know right. that if I want yeah. to grow, I have to hire, um, you know, freelancers, online jobs.ph is where I've been going right. to, to hire right. people to work with me. So I've right. been doing a lot of the stuff myself. I have right. hired for small jobs here and there. Um, it's, it's difficult to, to hire the right people. Sometimes I think that beca right. is because I didn't have a lot of experience hiring people. I didn't know how to hire properly and stuff like that. Right. So it, right. uh, in the past, it's been difficult. I'm definitely much better at it now. And uh, I think that having the, the right team in place is really going to help me explode my business. And if anyone's joining rank and rent club, um, they're right. going to see a lot. We have monthly webinars. They're going to see me talk a lot about what my team right. is doing and what we're achieving. So I think a lot's going to change in the next year. Okay. So let's talk about rank and rent. Like what is this rank and rent club and what is this training and why people should join it? So do you, do you want to share some insights on it? Yeah. So, awesome. so I've done search engine optimization is a great right. way to get free traffic from Google. And I think oh. everybody that knows what SEO is knows that. Right. And yeah. there's, there's a lot of, things you can do with that free traffic. Like the main models that I like to compare to is like, if you're going to do like affiliate or AdSense marketing, where right. you're selling someone else's product or you're getting traffic right. and they're clicking on ads right. on your site, then right. there's the SEO agency where you're helping businesses with their websites um, doing SEO. And then right. there's what I like to call now rank and rent. And all three are based on search engine optimization. Right. But if you don't know anything about SEO, I personally SEO. believe that rank and rent is the best model to use to help you learn SEO because with an agency, for instance, if you have a client, you have to right. deliver results or you're going to lose your client. They're going to hate mm. you. It's very stressful when you have a lot of clients because you have to perform because they're going to want right. to call you and ask you what's going okay. on. With affiliate marketing, you don't have that same level of pressure because you're on your right. own. But affiliate marketing typically is a lot harder. You have to be better at keyword research. You have to be better at on-page optimization and you have right. to be better at building backlinks. So it's harder. Of course. So rank and rent kind of is a low stress, easy way 
to learn how to do search engine optimization and you can build tiny websites for local businesses. And if you do get rankings, those websites are valuable because they're generating phone calls, which you can then in turn rent them out to a business. So it's a great place to learn SEO, which is a very employable skill. Um, And it can really open the doors to becoming an affiliate marketer, an AdSense marketer, or even an agency. So it's, to right. me, it's the best way to learn in a low pressure environment that still has an income opportunity with it. Right. Because in 2020, like due to this pandemic, right, I think SEO is, is the number one skill like everyone should learn and they should learn how to make money with SEO, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of businesses that got hurt by the pandemic. There's a lot right. of businesses that, that flourished right. because of yep. the pandemic. Um, but one thing's for certain is a lot of people are working from home now because of the pandemic. So yeah. that, that work from yeah. home on shift has changed. So right. if, if someone can develop skills like right. SEO, where you can work from home and, and help right. the business that that's, it's like a really good situation, especially during this whole pandemic. Right. Right. Because this is the right time to learn that skill like SEO and someone who's interested like interested to learn about SEO, like they should learn it, man. It's it's pretty cool skill because I know like in lockdown, I have made some good money with by selling like courses and being an affiliate like from seven years. I feel like it's pretty good, like to be very honest. Yeah. SEO. Yeah. If you follow yeah. all now, the it's not, I, I mean it's it's still a it's still an education, right? Like the, the one thing I like about uh, rank and rent club, we I try my best not to promote it as a make money online and you'll drive right. Ferraris and live in mansions. I, I don't right. want to be that type of guy. True. Really what it's about is getting a solid education, you know, that's that when you learn it and you're good at it, the skills that you get from it are they're employable. So even if you don't become someone that does rank and rent, you could go get a job doing search engine optimization for a company. Right. Like True. it's a real highly in demand skill and we can teach it and we're, we're very very good at, at teaching it so I, I it's just it's just a great place to learn seo of course according to linkedin like seo is like top 10 skill like to be very honest right so it's pretty good like the guys if you're really serious to learn about seo so do check out rank and rank club to be very honest yeah just do it okay so i want to ask you like next question what are your tips on hiring like seo specialists like if you're hiring a team like you are hiring an SEO person. So what are your process? Like, how, how do you hire that person? So number one, I don't think you should hire anyone until you fully understand the entire process yourself, because right. you won't be able to tell if they're doing a good job or a bad job. Um, I mean, other than they, maybe they're getting you rankings and you'll say, okay, you're doing a good job, but maybe they're doing it very black hat or they're doing, you know, you won't be able to tell that sort of thing. So I think understanding the process yourself is probably the first thing that you should do if you do want to hire people out so that you fully understand it. Um, Then when it comes to hiring people to do stuff for you, I think you, because rank and rent and and search engine optimization, there's a lot of moving parts to it. There's keyword research, there's optimization, there's backlink building. You have to right. be good with um, cPanel, WordPress, you know, like all True. these True. technologies and stuff like that. So I think learning how to scale down the tasks, right, and hire the right. people who are good at those specific tasks right. instead of trying to hire someone that that can do everything. I think that's really, really hard to do. So, yeah. you know, yeah, separate your tasks. I need someone to do web design. I need someone to be a content writer. And I need someone who understands, you know, cPanel and uh, maybe PHP programming language, like a developer, right. it, those three people I think would be a great start um, for hiring. So a web designer, developer, uh, a coding person to help you troubleshoot, you know, issues or a server administrator, and then a content writer. Cause those are going to be three of the biggest jobs. Um, right. The fourth one might be someone that you teach keyword research to like how to find keyword good research. keywords to build sites for, right. and then have them come in, do the keyword research and do the optimization so the stuff right. that has to be done to the website. So there could be four. Right. Because you now, because so you know, like now Google in 2021, they're launching this core web vitals, right? Yeah. So like this is going to be a very important part of algorithm. So what are what are your thoughts? So like, do you think like like there are millions of websites online? So you do, do you think like they are going to follow this core web vitals? I mean, I don't know, but I I do know that a lot of there's only 10 spots on the first page of Google, no matter what right, keyword you right. search, right? right? So one of the things that we teach is to find what I like to call them quick wins. So keywords quick that, 
that they don't have a lot of competition on the first page. Like there's very, very weak sites already ranking. So it doesn't matter so much, you know, when you think about things like core web vitals or schema or the amount of backlinks websites have, if the first page is weak, it's weak, right? Regardless uh -huh. of those types of things. And that's what we teach. We teach people how to find really good keywords that have a lot of profit potential and are easy right. to rank. Right. Um, I do think core web vitals are important though. Like we still will teach people how to speed up their websites, how to make sure they're mobile friendly. Like those are, those to me are like becoming very basic fundamentals of building. You have to have those things in place. You have to, um, but yeah. yeah, but you could get away with not doing it as well. Oh. Well, well, you just don't have to do it if you're in a low competition niche, right? Okay. Yes. If you are into low competition, because so, you know, like all that, because I'm working in, into digital marketing and education niche, and it's very highly competitive. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to outrank like PC Mac, all this high authority website. In terms, I need to have a lot of great content, like strong on page, right? Yeah. So, so what is your favorite link building strategy? And uh, like, what do you want to share with my readers? Like best tips on link building. I I I love PBNs, private blog networks. Right. Um, it's been my core strategy for backlink building for a long, long time because it works. It's, it's extremely right. powerful and it works now it's complex. It's, it's, of it's course. a inside of rank and rent club. There's a whole module just dedicated to, you know, what private blog networks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot to learn, but the value of what you learn is, is very much worth it because it works so quickly and so well. So I don't do a lot of other link building tactics um, other than PBN. private blog networks. Yeah. So do, do you buy expired domains to build all these kind of PBNs? Like I typically like to buy auction domains. I don't do much with domains. expireds. Okay. Yeah. Just I find the difference between expired domains and auction domains is when you're looking for expired domains, you have to sort through hundreds of thousands of domains to find, you know, one or two good ones with auctions using vendors, they've already done all that work for you. So the price is higher to buy auction domains or buying off a vendor, but you skip all the work and you just get a good domain right out of the gate. So I, I like auction domains. I don't really use expireds. So how do you buy auction domains? Like, like what criteria do you see? Like, do you see some DR, like, like some spam score? Do you see the backlinks? So what yeah. do you see? in that so i so th this will apply for any domain whether it's an expired right. domain or an auction okay. or a, or a, yep. a vendor yep. but yeah i'm looking for i'm looking for good metrics um for like what whether you're using moz or ahrefs like right. i like to check them all or majestic right um but right. yeah i want to see good good metric numbers i want to see a clean backlink profile so like no clean pills backlink. no porn no casinos um yeah. stuff like that True. Right. Uh, I, the, the older the domain is, the better. Um, I definitely look at archive.org to see the history right. of what the domain was. Um, right. I want to make sure that it's kind of always been the same thing, or if it has moved from one person to another, that it, it didn't True. turn into something bad. Um, so right. just looking for stuff that's really clean, really powerful with links and, and, uh, and old. Yeah. Old domains have a lot of authority if they are not spam, right? yeah it's pretty, it's pretty good so what do you think like uh like on like your favorite seo strategies for 2021 except pbn so i know like you love pbn so do you think like strong on page do matter for ranking i can rank a site on the first page of google just with pure optimization if it's in a right. low enough competition niche right okay um, Mm -hmm. So I think like the, the most important strategy is keyword research and understanding, keyword you know, research. Yes. what makes a good keyword all, but also reading the top page, the first page of Google and understanding what makes these sites rank, right? Like right. where is it, is it their optimization? Is it their backlinks? Mm -hmm. So understanding keyword research means understanding competition research. Right. And if you do that really, really well, um, you don't have to do as much building backlinks and building social profiles and stuff like that because you're just you've done a good job at researching and easy to rank oh, keywords so that that would be my number one strategy is go after really good keywords with low competition on the first page and what is your favorite tool for doing this keyword is uh, do you use long tail pro stm rush or ahrep i use our own we we developed a, um, a keyword research okay. tool called, okay. called keyword supremacy which if anyone joins rank and rent club, they get access to that software anyway. So, yeah. um, but it, it, the thing about our keyword tool is that it, 
it's built based off of a couple of things. Like number one, the auto suggest on Google, um, right, as you're typing right. in words, they're suggesting words. Right. That's a right. very underused strategy, I think, right. for any type of keyword research, whether it be affiliate, local, right. whatever. Um, auto suggest is a gold mine of, of good auto keywords suggest. that nobody's thinking right. about. So our right. tool uh, uses auto suggest. And then we also can tap into um, pre filtering by metrics. So meaning we can go in and say, like, for instance, if I was doing keyword research for a local market um, and I wanted to look up Dallas, Texas, I could type in into our keyword tool. I'd type in, I want the keyword to contain the word Dallas. I want it to have a search volume between 100 and 800. Right. I want it to have a cost per click between 10 and right. 20. Mm -hmm. And I want the AdWords competition be, to be 0.3. So we can set right. filters before we get results. Right. And I teach this in my course about why we set those filters and, right. and what they're really filtering out. Um, so right. our own tool was based on, you know, my experience of learning keyword research and what, what helps me return good keywords. So we right. built a tool around my strategies and mm. that's actually what I use. I do like, um, I do have the surfer SEO extension installed just for quick okay, looking okay, at, yeah. at things right. as well. That's a good okay. one. Um, but I don't do anything like the Ahrefs keyword tool, like where, where I just get, you know, here's 50,000 keywords. And I'm like, Oh God, like right. 50,000 keywords and maybe only a hundred of them are any good, but any good, how are you right. going to find out which ones are good from which ones are bad? So I think knowing what makes a good keyword good is important, but then finding a tool that can help you um, pull those out of a, a long, a long list is really useful. And that's what keyword supremacy is for. Oh, awesome. So in rank and rank club, do you teach people how to find the, uh, like how to find the niches, for rank and rent, like low competition issues. So do you, do you teach all those things there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, it's, it's super important. In fact, um, right. So we, we talk about a lot of things. I actually have a checklist that everybody gets um, when they're searching for, you know, the right niche to go into. Um, I have a checklist that covers everything like the size of the city that they're looking at, the type of keyword, the competition on the first page, um, the, the results being, every local keyword that you look at in Google is either right. going to have local sites or authority sites, how to right. analyze the competition for each type of those. Right. Um, right. So yeah, we, we definitely teach you how to go after a good niche because I don't want people wasting money on buying domains, setting up exactly. hosting and building a website if the keyword is wrong, because they're just going to be fighting a battle. And I want my students to win quickly. You know what I mean? So I spend a lot of time, teaching people how to find good keywords and good niches to go after. So you are, you are training your, your students, all these things, like how you can find the best keyword for, for low competition rank and rank and how that is amazing. Like this is one of the best things, like you are training, you are teaching your students, like all these things, like, because I, I have never saw all these kind of courses. Like I, I was Googling about rank and rank and I cannot find any kind of good course right now on Google itself, like to be very honest. Yeah. One of the things I know there's other rank and rent courses out there um, like Dan and EP, like the day job killers. And then there's uh, Sarah Van uh, Ganesh has actually a really good ranking rent course. There's Ben Littlefield. They have another one. There's a lot of rank okay. and rent courses out there. Um, yeah. One of the things we're doing a little differently than those guys is we give so much free information, like just for going and signing up to rank and rent club, right. you get four days, four days of training for free. Free, free. And right. Yeah. And we talk about keyword research. We talk about site optimization. We talk about how to sell a person who's interested in right. your site. And we do, the, we do all that for free. And the reason we do it is because our course, you know, it's got a lot of value, but it's not cheap. Right. right. So we want to make sure that if someone's going to spend the money with us, that they're a hundred percent certain that what we're going to give them is good. So we give right. them so much free training to help them understand who we are, how I teach, understand our software, our process and stuff like that. And our free training has gotten um, like outstanding, absolutely outstanding reviews. If you go to rankandrent.club on Facebook, you can see we right. they grew up to eight, all the 80 reviews. reviews. Yeah, right. I saw the reviews good. there. Like people are giving so much of positive feedback because they're giving so much of free value. Like that's very yeah. important. You are just not selling them like buy my course and it's going to make you millions. No, it's not possible. Like, so you're yeah. giving them extra yeah. value and you're training them how you can actually build a business out of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's we do our best money. to really give value. I mean, I want to make money, of course, right? Like I do want your money. I want your money, but I'm going to give you value first to prove that I'm worth, you know, taking your money. So it's like a fair exchange, I think. It's 
yeah, it's like a fair exchange because you're giving them value and you're you're teaching them like how like like if I did it, so you can also do it, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm an ex musician, so I don't know if you can see all the drums and the guitars yes, back there, but I can see it before. At the back. Yeah. <laughs> So I was, I was literally um, in a band and I was like a touring band, like a rock and roll musician. So, I mean, to go from that kind of background into something so technical, like search engine optimization, I really do feel like if I can learn this, anybody can learn this. You just have to stay committed and dedicated and not get that, you know, shiny object syndrome, like Like, spend some time on it, give it, give it respect, give it some time and you'll learn it and it'll open a lot. Nothing is shortcut, right? Because I'm doing SEO from seven years and and her, I'm ranking for your review course fever, right? Like I'm ranking on yep. the Google so you can see itself, right? So that's yep. it. Like it, it, it took me a lot of years, like six, seven years to learn actually like, okay, what Google really wants, like he wants to give the best experience to its users. So you need to do yeah. very strong on the SEO. You need to like, like make your website load very fast. And I have, I work on this for web writers to be very honest. So you can see my scores are pretty good right now. I'm working yep. on it because, because I, because like the next month there's an update from google itself right on the core yeah. web vitals so i'm preparing because all my i have around 40 niche websites so i'm preparing myself like like i ha- i really have to give the best shot here yeah and search engine optimization is something that i think you have to commit yourself to learning because google changes the rules a lot right like Every everybody day. knows this they they have updates all the time and that's something True. that people have to be able to keep up with so it, it takes time to really get good at it. i'm sure you're still learning every day i know i'm still learning every True. day True. Yep. but one thing i will say i've been doing this long enough that i do understand that the core fundamentals of search engine op- optimization have right. not changed those have right. not really changed drastically in a long long time so if you learn those core fundamentals the rest right. is kind of just like almost just keeping like periodicals, keeping up with the news and stuff like that. That's awesome. So that's the way to do it. Like, like it's so, so true. Like you need to keep updating yourself. Like if you don't update your, your knowledge, you are going to get like badly hit by Google to be very honest. I know. Yeah. Like an example of this is six years ago, the schema didn't even exist. Right. And now really? schema is like a pretty important factor of, right. of, of ranking and websites. True. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's very important. Like, because I've implemented like the schema structure on all my website, like FAQs, rating structure. It's working sure. very well for me. Like I have worked yeah. a lot on these things, like to be very honest, it's yeah. like that low. So, so like Herc, I, I want to ask you like, did COVID-19 has any kind of impact on your business right now? Yeah, absolutely. It did. Um, there was obviously a lot of people that, kind of stopped, right? Like my business is getting hurt less. There's certain businesses that COVID really hurt. So anyone, anyone that, you know, people had to go to their business, like hair salons or anything like that. Like um, brick and mortar, right? Brick yeah. Like mortar. a lot of, a lot of brick and mortar where the, the, they service their customer at their business. A lot of those got hurt and they just didn't have the budget for certain things. Right. So True. it's, and and having great SEO when you can't have any customers walk in your door is still it's not going to help you. So so yeah. it definitely affected things, but it also created opportunities um, and some big ones, some some stuff that people would have never thought of. Like uh, the home services industry has exploded because everybody's spending more time at home. There's more wear and tear on their home. They're right. using their home more. So things right. like deck builders, um, you know, gutter repairs, like all the home services to beautify. Right. And, right. and use your home have exploded, right? So them right. being able to capitalize on this with search engine optimization has become an opportunity in COVID as well. So kind of the balance still exists. The balance is there, right? So you need to keep yeah. balance. And so how do you manage your personal life and your professional life? Like what kind of challenges you face? Because so, you know, SEA is a crazy thing. Like for me, I cannot sleep in the night. Sometimes I get keywords in the night, like when I'm sleeping, it's so crazy. Like, so this is my life. Like I have to be very honest. So how do you manage? Well, I, I, I have a son that's two and a half years old now. Um, and that changed a lot about how I do my business before, um, my, my kid arrived. I just worked all the time. I just would, I'm probably like you, like I'm up all night. I work, I sleep as much as I can work, work, work. Once I had a kid, um, I, I love my kid. I want to spend time with my family and my kids. So I literally, said Monday to Friday, nine to five is work. And then I shut it off and I, I don't work outside of those hours. And to be honest, that actually has helped my in, increase my productivity. 
uh, just because right. I know my time is limited now. So right. I don't waste it anymore. I don't do a lot of, I, I don't know about you, but like right. when I was, when I had all the time in the world, I would look at everything and do everything. And I, I right. probably start on one task and I'd be five or six tangents away from what I originally started on. Right. Now I'm much more focused. So um, yeah, I just use my time wisely and efficiently now. And it helps pretty much important and have you gained some weight in this lockdown like i saw like you posted some pictures like you are you're burning some like you're burning some calories you're trying to get get in shape again right yeah yeah i lost yeah. 30 pounds yeah awesome awesome because same here i got fat like in this lockdown like to be very just eating and now i'm just trying to get it get back in shape because all the time it's working i cannot go out like it's so boring yeah i think having the kid help helped me change a lot of things It changed the way I work. It changed my outlook on my health. Like I had, I had to lose weight to keep up with him. And yeah. I mean, I have a desk job. I sit at a chair like you and I type all day and that's just not good for your back. It's not good for your health. So I, I, I made a lot of changes this year and uh, I'm, I'm glad I did. Okay. And what are your favorite Chrome extensions for SEO? I would well, I'll just look at the ones I got right. So I love Loom, number one. Uh, because, Loom is number uh, one. Yes, I, I use it. Then. I love Loom. Um, Roboform is my password manager. I definitely need a password manager. I use Moz. Pass yeah, Moz. Okay. Um, yeah, any pass. I, I have the Ahrefs on there. I have Moz on there. Um, Loom for recording videos. Surfer SEO just for quick keyword research. Right, um, so you told me. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Detailed SEO by Glenn Alsop. Uh, oh, Chrome extension. Thing. Right. Right. It's a really I good have, one just to look at any website to see their their a, a quick view of their on page optimization. Okay, that's very important because I love LastPass. I love I have Surfer SEO right now. Awesome screenshot to take the screenshots of the products. Like I'm doing reviews, yeah. so this is very important for me right now. Like this is yeah. Like hug. Like have you had any kind of work experience? Like have you done any kind of job? Like before starting your own business. Uh, well, I was a rock musician, but I didn't get paid yeah. very much money. Um, <laughs> I also was, um, for about a year and a half, um, I wanted to step away from the internet. Like I've been working on the internet and making money since I was 20 years old. I got really bored um, of sitting at home. Um, so I actually started doing a real job. I, I did bartending for a little bit. And then I also became uh, a laser, like a, a printer repair technician. Right. So I got uh, certified to fix big Canon printers. Um, I did that awesome. for a year and a half. So I went right. back into the workforce in the middle of my internet marketing career. And right. after a year and a half, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I need to go work for myself again. I can't handle having a boss. So I left. So other than that, I've been self-employed since I, I was 20 years old. So why did you choose SEO? Like over so many things, like why did you choose SEO? Like that's a good question. Um, I mean, I don't really know why I chose SEO. It, it's just, it maybe because it was the free traffic, right? Like I was always, I was doing email list building, right? And the, right. we all do these things. The end goal of everything we do is money, right? Of we want to make a True. living for ourselves, True. right? So I was doing other things to make money. And then I've always seen SEO as a way to like, look, if I ever got good at getting my websites in the search engines, I could you know, stop working as hard because once they're ranking, the traffic keeps coming. Keep coming. So I, I always liked that idea. I never wanted to get into paid advertising because it can be expensive and hard to learn. Um, so I, I guess I just, paid? yeah, yeah, we've done, we've definitely done some paid advertising. I'm definitely not an expert uh, at paid advertising. We always hire that out. I've tried a little bit of it myself and we definitely want to get more into it. Um, but that's not something I want to necessarily learn myself. I would rather hire that one out um, to people who I know that can do it. But yeah, I got into SEO probably because I wanted free free traffic on Google. Okay. Do you attend any kind of SEO event like when there was no pandemic? Like, were you attending any kind of SEO events? Like Absolutely. your favorite SEO event? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, SEO events have been huge for my career, especially because of the, yeah. the people that I've met and the networking. Um, my software development partner, Todd Spears, I met at an SEO event. Um, I've been, I don't really have any favorites. I mean, um, I go, I've gone to a lot of them. I went to traffic conversion. I went to uh, OMG SEO events. 
Uh, I went to the first webinar con um, put on by Ron and Anik and um, yes, Andy yeah. Hassan. Yeah, so that was a really excellent one. Um, I'll definitely be uh, attending that. But any any event that you know you can go to, I think is is worth it. They're they're all excellent. I've never been to a bad event, put it that way. I mean, I've awesome. I've always gotten a lot of. I kind of almost call it like it's, it charges me up. You know what I mean? I get so excited and motivated. Yeah. I love them. Same here because I attended a lot of events. So you can see at the back, I have a picture with the Neil Patel. So I met all these guys and I made so much of good connections and I'm trying to learn from all these experts to be very honest. Like I love like attending all these kind of, kind of events because it gives me boost how to make more money online and how I can really hit my goals into six figures because I was making like 20, 2016, I was making four figures a month and it was very low. I was, I really had to like charge up myself. Like, so that's where I got to know about these events, like Affiliate World Asia, some SEO masterminds. Yeah. And I started attending yeah. all these kind of events and it changed my mindset. Like I can really hit into like a good figure. And in 2020, my life changed. Like, like this lockdown had really have changed my life to be very honest. Like I find that's good awesome. business partners, like, who got like they were my best friends and they they lost their jobs and they I, I told them like like you be my business partner because I trust you I will teach yeah. you SEO I will give you training I will teach you what is this on page blah 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 you just work with me and they work with me now yeah. they are making a good money like to be like that's awesome two times more than the job they were making it's a hundred percent possible to become very successful in this industry it's yeah. it's a personal you choice a you either you choose to do it mentor. or don't you yeah, you have mentor. you have to have a good mentor. I think you have to look, know that 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 part's hard too because there's so many gurus, right? There's so many people out there, there that say that they can teach you. So it's hard to tell who's legitimate from who's, who's legitimate. not. Right. But if you find someone that's good and you're 100 percent committed to learning, you will become successful. Like awesome. that to me is 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 absolutely 100 percent true. If true. you don't become successful, it's your fault. It's no one no. else's fault, but it's your own, a lot right? of hard work. You you need to be, and you need, you need to be focused, and you need you need to surround yourself with these kind of like high energy positive people who can give you all the time positive energy and and push you up. Like that's very yeah. important. I've seen it. It's very very yeah, important. and it's it is an amazing lifestyle. It, it really True. is. Um, we can work. I mean, I, my my life is just so blessed um like to be able to give my wife the wedding that she wanted to be able to provide a life for my awesome. son the way that he wanted like i'm so awesome. blessed i have the time to spend with them which is so important to me now it's it's a really great life i know a lot of people that are kind of on the outside looking in don't think it's possible a lot of people make a lot of money and i i hate talking about money to be honest um, right. when I was getting in, I was seeing these people saying, Oh, I'm making 30,000 or 40,000 a month. And I didn't believe it. And Same. if, if they were yes. saying to me, you know, I'm only making a thousand dollars a month now, that would have been easier for me to believe. To digest. Yeah. And that's a lot of money to a lot of people. Imagine you could go to most people and say, listen, I could teach you a skill in the next six months to a year that'll increase your income by a thousand dollars a month. That's a lot True. of money. It's a lot of money. True. Now I believe the forty thousand and fifty thousand, or even a hundred thousand dollars a month. Because we are making, it, <laughs> yeah. so we know it. It's possible. Yeah, okay, yeah there's no perhaps, ceiling here. Oh, yes, yeah, true. So, last question: What are like three like top-notch SEO tips you want to give to the newbies, and why they should be a part of Rank and Rent Club? Why? So, like, this is the last question. Okay. Um, Okay. Number one, why, okay. I'll answer first. Why should you yeah. come into rank and rent club? Number one, right. because it's free to join and learn, right? There is an four offer, days. Yeah, four days. but yeah. you're going to get four days of free training. And I think that what you're going to learn in those four days is going to move you forward so much. You'll be very, very impressed. Sure. I teach core SEO fundamentals. I don't teach bells and whistles, tricks, you know, black hat, white hat. I teach core fundamentals. They've never changed. Um, I, I don't like to say I'm a good teacher. Other people say, apparently I'm a good teacher. That's for you to decide if you're sure. watching this video and you watch me, um, right. I can break down complex things fairly simply, I think. Um, so I think joining rank rent club is just, it's free. You can't lose anything except for a bit of time. Sure. Some good tips. Um, EMD still work. Really? <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people think they don't, but they absolutely do. 
Um, you okay, just have to awesome. be careful with how, how you build links to EMDs. EMD work, number one. EMDs still work. Um, local SEO, I'll talk mostly about rank and rent stuff here. Uh, local SEO, you can break a lot of rules that are typical in SEO. Um, right. You can get extremely aggressive and it still works very, okay. very well, very, very fast. So awesome. um, I guess that's EMD still work as part of being aggressive. Right. So maybe one right. more, um, what would be a good third one? Duplicate content. I'll talk about that first. Okay. We, we did it. We did a test recently on, right. on duplicate content because a lot of people say you can't duplicate content, you can't duplicate content. We built a local directory site and targeted all the cities in Canada with duplicate content, no backlinks, brand new domain. Um, wow. And we have, I forget the stats, but almost every keyword is on page one. Awesome. Almost every single keyword is on page one awesome. just from awesome. on just from solid core fundamentals of SEO. So knowing how to optimize them, knowing how to interlink the pages, just core fundamentals. And we did it all with duplicate content. We wow. built that, that same site. We took that same idea. We bought uh, a powerful domain and we right. duplicated the site on the, on the powerful domain awesome. and that domain won't rank. So duplicate content, from what I've seen is if you duplicate someone else's content, it's not going to work. If you duplicate your own content your own on the content. site, it still works. Still works. Awesome. Like, yeah. thank you so much, man. Uh, thank you so much. Like you have shared a lot of great tips, like someone who's really interested to learn about SEO and they, they really want to make study out of this SEO. So guys, thank you. So, like guys, if you're really interested to learn about SEO and you want to get free training, like four days with rank and rep. So, so I will drop the link in the description. So you can check it out, Rank and Rank Club. And I've done my own review also about his training. Like it's pretty good, pretty much detailed. Like it's very much detailed. If you really want to make your, like your life out of SEO, so you should look for it. Like that four days free training, you have not, nothing to lose here, right? Huck? Yeah, well, I mean, it's free, so you can't lose it's anything. A, yeah, so you can't lose anything that, that's free for four days for you. Like. So get access to it. I, I will drop the link in the description below. So thank you so much, Herb, for sharing your journey yeah. with my readers. And I really appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much, really. Yeah. really. So, so yeah. guys, if you, have, if you really like this interview, so please share it on social media and do listen to my podcast, Inside Hustler's Brain. Thank you so much, Herb. It's really, really awesome. Like, I really appreciate your time, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs>